A very big challenge for us as ranchers is to manage the ever-shrinking land base that's available to us in a way that maintains healthy, productive, and sustainable pastures. While there's a ton of information available on land management and the effects that rotational grazing can have on a pasture and the soil beneath it, it can be really hard to visualize what that might look like on our own land base without actually being able to see it in action. There are so many different ways to implement a rotational grazing setup. Everything from what cell design we decide to use, to what type of a water system we invest in, to how the animals are going to even get to that water, to the types of fencing, and even how often we move are going to be impacted by the characteristics of each unique land base, how much time we have, and how much money we have available. Because there's so many factors to consider, the Board of Directors of Gateway Research Organization decided a few years ago to implement a herd management demonstration at the pasture the Grow has been running since 1979. In 2019, we started working on redesigning our fencing layout and water system. If you head out to the heifer pasture today, you will see six different cell designs. We have four paddocks in a wagon wheel or pie system with water coming from a well in the center. Another four paddocks in a square cell center system with water being gravity fed from a tank up on the top of a hill to a trough in the middle of four paddocks. Four other paddocks are also square, but with a single alley system connecting them and giving the cattle access to a second trough that is fed by the same tank on top of the hill. We then have three long rectangular paddocks, also on a one alley system, where the animals are also watered from the second trough. Now, to be really different, and because we all love those gorgeous fence line photos, we have a rectangular mob grazing paddock for strip grazing, or what is known as high intensity or amp grazing. In this paddock, we graze the animals a small strip at a time using temporary electric fence that we move every couple of hours throughout the course of a day or two. This paddock is set up right next to another rectangular paddock that we continuously graze all season with five animals. All of these paddocks are 10 acres each and watered by either a well or through the gravity flow system that runs the two troughs. In October of 2020, we took soil samples from the different systems in order to monitor not just what's happening above ground, but below ground as well as we, we move the animals in these different ways. There's so much more that we said about the pros and cons of each system, and we will be talking about those in future videos. So if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, and you can see more about what the Grow Heifer Pasture project is up to, um, what we've been doing, and, and our results.